Episode story number four, Niffle and the Forgotten Dream. Inside Niffle's cozy underground cavern, filled with thousands and thousands upon glowing glass bottles, Niffle, the tiny dreamkeeper, is carefully rearranging the bottles, humming a soft tune. His large, twinkling eyes each scan each dream with a mix of curiosity and care. Dreams, dreams everywhere. So many dreams, so many moments to keep safe. But where's that one special dream for tonight? Niffle reaches for an old, dusty book of dream records, flipping through the pages with his tiny fingers. His intuition stops at a particular entry, his eyes widening as he taps his third eye. Ah yes, the dream of Mr. Harold. A forgotten dream of childhood adventures. How precious. But where did I put it? Niffle scurries around the cavern, checking each shelf. His movements are quick and precise, but there is a hint of nervousness in his actions. Oh no, dear. You can't let a dream stay lost. You must find it before dawn. Niffle spends a few hours scanning his vast library of dream bottles, safely stored. But he's almost giving up. Oh, oh no, where are you? Mr. Harold's dream? Dear, oh dear, can't let a dream stay lost. You must find it before dawn. Time is running out. Without hesitation, he teleports to Mr. Harold's bedside to find the source of the issue. As Mr. Harold's tossing and turning, he's muttering to himself as he's trying to sleep. And your mind the goal, only thoughts will show. Show me, show me what is lost. With a quick entry, he sees the echoes of a lost memories of Mr. Harold's dream that he's desperately trying to remember. He locates a thread of dream energy and grabs it. Oh, got you! Niffle catches onto the energy manifesting, trying to locate the dream, and takes a thread of energy back with him to his underground cavern. With the energy thread in between his fingers, he calls and guides it to one of the bottles on the shelf in his cavern. He finally stops and looks, and sees a bottle tucked away in a dark corner, covered in a fine layer of dust. It glows with a faint, nostalgic light. Niffle's face lights up with relief. Oh, there you are! Hiding away, are you? Naughty little dream. Niffle picks up the bottle with one hand and blows on it carefully, dusting it off. He jumps down to the floor with the bottle under his arm and places the bottle between his legs. With Mr. Harold's dream echo energy thread in between his fingers, he uncorks the bottle and watches as the dream entwines with the energy thread nodding to himself. Yes, yes, together again, Mr. Harold. We'll be waking up soon. We must return his dream back to him for it's too late. I uh, will be getting happy remembering his childhood adventures. With a deep breath, Niffle concentrates and in a flash he teleports to Mr. Harold's bedside, tracing the energy thread back to him. The old man stirs silently in his bed. Niffle watches as the dream settles into Mr. Harold's mind, flowing out of the bottle, leaving it empty. Niffle watches impatiently, then Mr. Harold lets out a grunt and snore, <coughs> which after a gentle smile plays on his mouth, followed by a sigh. Niffle tiptoes away, ensuring he remains unseen and unheard. Sweet dreams, Mr. Harold. I leave your childhood adventures and dreams and smile. Niffle watches for a long while the enjoyment of Mr. Harold's childhood memories and hides behind the curtain from the windowsill, his little fingers grabbing onto the curtain and his beady large eyes peering at Mr. Harold as he lays there horizontally on the bed. Mr. Harold's face lights up with joy as the dream takes hold. Niffle watches as he smiles. Niffle now content with his work for the night, he clicks his fingers to teleport back to his cavern. With a small flash of light, the portal collapses on itself with a flash of light wakes up Mr. Harold. <gasps> Niffle, teleporting back to his cavern, he places the empty bottle back on the shelf with a satisfied sigh. Ah, <sighs> tiptoe, tiptoe, busy night. Keep everyone safe tonight. I never forgot and dream. Safely remembered. <sighs> it's a good night's work for me. Niffle resumes his duties, his movements swift and purposeful. The cavern glows warmly with the light of countless dreams, each one a precious memory. Safeguarded by Niffle, he hums a soft, whimsical tune, always vigilant and always caring. <laughs>